Hi everyone, so this is the last lesson for this specific pack. We've done it in four packs instead of four lessons instead of five. So it says friction now. So it says if the plane's rough, the force of friction may prevent it from moving. Friction always acts in the opposite direction. So imagine that this is moving down the slope and how friction would be stopping it, FR or F max. I've got R and I've got MG with its components there. So MG cos theta, MG sine theta. There. It always acts in the opposite direction. Right, now then, this is, oh, this, this, I almost feel like we should leave this example and come back to it. Um, I'm quite tempted to do that, actually, because it kind of messes with your head a little bit. So I'm going to skip this one and come back to it. So particles held at rest on a rough slope, which is inclined at an angle, where tan alpha is three quarters. Right, okay, so that's, that's drawn out. So I've got, got a particle held at rest, and it's at angle alpha. All right, tan alpha is three quarters. Uh, does it say how much it weighs? I don't think it does, does it? So I've got mg. Now, if we let go of it, so it says so the particle's release and it slides down the plane, so it's going to go that way. So my friction is acting against it, FR or F max, whichever one you want to be. There. I've got my MG at alpha. So that would be MG cos alpha. That would be MG sine alpha. Now, do you remember when we did projectiles and we had the ones with tan alpha? So it says tan alpha is three quarters, so opposite hypotenuse, so that must be 5. So sine alpha is 3 fifths and cos alpha is 4 fifths. Do you remember doing that with projectiles? So this mg cos alpha is actually 4 fifths of mg and that mg sine alpha is actually 3 fifths of mg. So then are my components. Right, so let's have a look then. So let's solve it perpendicular to work out what R is to help us with F max. So if I do F equals MA perpendicular to the slope, that'll do it. So I've got forces perpendicular minus, oh, you have to laugh, come on, stop doing this. I don't know what's going on with this board. Now that's in equilibrium because it's not bouncing, it's not plowing through the through the uh, slope. So the force is going upwards is R, and going against R is your 4 over 5 mg. So R is 4 fifths of mg. Right, so now let's have a look at what friction is there. So F max is mu R. So F max is, what did it say mu was? It said mu is a half, didn't it? So a half times by four fifths of mg. So f max is two fifths of mg. So I know what my f max is now. So now if we do f equals ma parallel to the slope, I've got the force taking it in the direction of travel minus the force opposing it is equal to ma. So the force taking it down is two thirds of mg, no sorry, three fifths of mg, I don't know where two thirds came from. So three fifths of mg, the force opposing it is my frictional force, which is two fifths of mg, and that's equal to the mass, which is m, times by an acceleration, which we need to find out. Now, isn't it nice that all the a's disappear, the m, sorry, disappear, so I've got three fifths of g minus two fifths of g is equal to a so three fifths takes two fifths is one fifth so i've got g over five is my acceleration which is roughly 1.96 meters per second squared so that's quite nice so i found my acceleration so i've done that so now